Hey everybody, welcome to the Stockton Symphony Instrument Roundup. And many thanks to the students at the University of the Pacific Conservatory of Music for creating this series of videos. Hello, my name is Raven and I am a third year music education student here at the University of the Pacific. And today I'm going to be talking to you about the marimba. Pick you up. So the marimba is a very large instrument. It's about six feet long, perhaps longer. In fact, I think it is longer, but it is part of the percussion family because we strike the instrument as we do for most other percussion instruments. But the marimba is part of our keyboard family. So the reason why it's part of the keyboard family is because it is very closely related to the piano. So as you can see, if you would look on a piano, pianos have their black keys, which are up on the top, and then our white keys, which are down here. And you can see that we have our two, three, two, three pattern up on the top. <clears throat> and the same thing you will find on the piano. That's because they are the same notes. So if you were to hit this key on a piano, it would sound the same as it does on a marimba. Put you down. So how we play the marimba is we use what we call mallets. Mallets consist of two parts. They have the shaft, which are primarily made of birch wood or rattan. Rattan is more flexible. And our mallet head. Mallet heads differ depending on what kind you buy. But this one has a yarn wrapping and a synthetic cork. This is a number three strength. There are different strengths for your mallets. So this one is a very generic, medium range sound. It's not too harsh and it's not too soft. But if I was to use another mallet, such as this one, this is one of the hardest mallets I own. You can hear how there's an accent towards the beginning of the sound versus and one of the softest mallets that I have, this one, you can see how the mallet head is a lot bigger, a lot bigger than this one, the pink one is. This is one of the softest mallets I own. This is what this one sounds like. just hear it resonate within the room. So, what are some things you can play on the marimba, you may ask? Well, you can play lots of things on the marimba. In fact, you don't even just have to have two mallets. Sometimes you can have four, and you would hold them like this. How we hold our mallets is you'll take what we call a fulcrum. So look for that first line on your, your index finger Place the mallet right there, overlapping it. Open your hand up. Try to get an inch out from your mallet. Less than an inch, actually. Like this. And then place your thumb right over. And you'll do this on both sides. This is standard grip. It's good for if you're just beginning. But if you would like to know how to hold four mallets, which is advancing, what you're going to do is have the same fulcrum that you already have, the same grip. Take your second mallet, open up these two back fingers, okay? Now what you're going to do is you're going to pull this mallet up. So let's start from the beginning. You have your fulcrum, okay? Place this mallet in the middle of your palm. Get your fulcrum, okay? Like this. It feels a little weird. Take this mallet and place it in between your middle finger and your ring finger, and it's gonna rest in there. And this one hangs out a little bit more. So your mallet that's being held by your ring finger and your pinky, it's gonna hang out just a little bit. And this one's gonna be in the center of your palm. So you would hold them like this. And you can play lots of things, you can play chords. Or 
I could just do ripples back and forth. Lots of things.